I caught my sister using my photos to get a job at a major travel company. When I confronted her, she gaslit me, and turned our family against me. I'm Liam, 28M, and photography has been my passion since I was a kid. It all started when my grandfather gave me his old film camera for my 10th birthday. He was an amateur photographer himself and loved capturing moments of our family gatherings. I remember spending hours with him in his makeshift darkroom, watching in awe as images appeared like magic on blank paper. From that moment on, I was hooked. I saved every penny from my allowance and part-time jobs to buy better equipment. By the time I was in high school, I had upgraded to a decent DSLR and was taking photos for the school yearbook. My parents, both busy accountants, didn't really understand my obsession but supported me as long as I kept my grades up. My sister, Mia, 32F, was always the golden child in our family. She excelled in academics and sports, while I was the quiet, creative type. Despite our differences, we were close growing up. Mia would often drag me to her soccer games to take action shots, which actually helped me improve my skills. She was always supportive of my passion, even when our parents worried about my future prospects. After high school, I decided to study photography in college, much to my parents' dismay. They wanted me to pursue a real career, like business or engineering. Mia, who was already working in marketing at the time, stood up for me. She argued that the digital age was creating new opportunities for visual artists. Her support was crucial in convincing our parents to let me follow my dreams. College was a turning point for me. I met other passionate photographers, learned new techniques, and started building a portfolio. I interned with a local wedding photographer during summers, which taught me a lot about the business side of photography. By the time I graduated, I had a solid body of work and a clearer vision of what I wanted to do. The years after college were tough. I worked various odd jobs to make ends meet while trying to establish myself as a freelance photographer. I took any gig I could get, weddings, pet portraits, real estate shoots. Slowly but surely, I started building a reputation. My landscape and travel photos gained a following on Instagram, and I even had a few images featured in local magazines. Mia's career, meanwhile, was on a steady upward trajectory. She climbed the ranks in her marketing firm and was always sharing stories of her success at family dinners. Our parents beamed with pride at her accomplishments, while my freelance lifestyle was met with concerned looks and gentle suggestions to find a real job. Despite this, Mia and I remained close. We'd meet for coffee every few weeks, and she'd always ask about my latest projects. She even recommended me for a few corporate headshot gigs through her connections. I appreciated her support and valued our relationship. Last month, Mia asked if she could see my portfolio. She mentioned she was considering a career change and wanted to explore more creative fields. I was excited to share my work with her, so I sent her a link to my online portfolio. It included all my best shots from the past five years, landscapes from my travels, portraits that captured raw emotions, and even some experimental abstract work I was particularly proud of. A couple of weeks later, Mia called me, bubbling with excitement. she just landed a job as a social media content creator for Vista Voyage, a major travel company known for its stunning Instagram feed. I was genuinely happy for her, knowing she'd been feeling unfulfilled in her current role. She gushed about how the interviewer was impressed by her eye for composition and unique style. I congratulated her, feeling a hint of pride that my sister was venturing into a more creative field. Yesterday, I was mindlessly scrolling through Instagram when I stumbled upon Vista Voyage's page. As I swiped through their recent posts, my heart began to race. I recognized several of my photos, the sunrise over the misty mountains in Colorado, the vibrant street scene from my trip to Marrakesh, the lone tree silhouetted against the starry sky in New Zealand. They were slightly edited, with different filters applied, but there was no mistaking my work. I felt like I couldn't breathe. These were images I had poured my heart and soul into, memories of places I had saved for years to visit. Each photo represented hours of preparation, hiking to remote locations, waiting for the perfect light. And now, they were being passed off as someone else's work, my own sister's. With shaking hands, I called Mia. When she answered, I tried to keep my voice calm as I asked about the photos on Vista Voyage's page. To my shock, she laughed it off, saying, Oh, come on, Liam. It's not a big deal. I just used a few of your photos to get my foot in the door. I'll replace them with my own work soon. You should be flattered that your work was good enough to land me this awesome job. I was stunned into silence. I tried to explain how serious this was, that she'd essentially committed fraud and copyright infringement. But Mia brushed off my concerns, saying, we're family. What's yours is mine. Besides, you're always saying you want your work to be seen by more people. Well, now it is. Vista Voyage has millions of followers. I ended the call, feeling betrayed and angry. My own sister, who I thought had always supported me, had stolen my work. It wasn't just the photos, it was years of hard work, sacrifices, and passion that she had casually claimed as her own. My parents called shortly after, clearly having just spoken to Mia. They were ecstatic, going on about how proud they were that both their children were finally succeeding in creative fields. When I tried to explain what Mia had done, 
they accused me of being jealous and told me I should be supporting my sister instead of trying to bring her down. Why can't you be happy for her? My mom asked, disappointment clear in her voice. This could be good for you too, maybe she can help you get a real job at that company. Now, I'm torn and feeling more alone than ever. On one hand, Mia is my sister, and despite everything, I don't want to ruin her life. We've always been close, and the thought of destroying our relationship is painful. I keep thinking about all the time she supported me, defending my choice to study photography, recommending me for jobs, always being there to lend an ear when I was struggling. But on the other hand, she stole my work, my art, my passion, the thing that defines me. She's using it to build a career on false pretenses, taking credit for years of my hard work and dedication. Every time I think about her showing my photos in that interview, claiming them as her own, I feel sick to my stomach. I'm also worried about the legal implications for both of us if Vista Voyage finds out. Could I be implicated in her fraud? Could this scandal taint my reputation in the photography community I've worked so hard to build? My parents' reaction has added another layer of complexity to the situation. Their obvious pride in Mia's new job and their dismissal of my concerns have reopened old wounds about feeling like the less favored child. I can't help but wonder if they would be reacting differently if I had stolen Mia's work. I don't know what to do. Should I report Mia to Vista Voyage? Should I confront her again and demand she come clean? Or should I just let it go for the sake of family peace? Part of me wants to believe that Mia will follow through on her promise to replace my photos with her own work, but another part feels like that's just wishful thinking. I feel like I'm losing my mind over this, caught between my love for my sister, my passion for my art, and my sense of right and wrong. I need some outside perspective. What would you do in my situation? Update 1, it's been a week since my last post, and I want to thank everyone for their advice and support. Your comments really helped me gain some clarity on the situation, even though things have only gotten more complicated. Taking your suggestions into account, I decided to confront Mia one more time, but this time, I was prepared. I set up a meeting with her at the Roasted Bean, a local coffee shop we've been going to since we were teenagers. It's where we used to meet to talk about our dreams, hers of climbing the corporate ladder, mine of becoming a renowned photographer. The familiar setting felt right for what I knew would be a difficult conversation. I arrived early, setting up my laptop at our usual corner table. I had all my original files ready, complete with metadata and timestamps to prove my ownership of the photos. The evidence was irrefutable, and I hoped it would make Mia understand the gravity of the situation. When Mia walked in, she was all smiles, waving at the barista she's known for years. For a moment, looking at her, I felt a pang of doubt. This was my sister, my childhood confidant. Were internet strangers right to advise me to potentially ruin her new career? But as we sat down and I saw her glance nervously at my open laptop, I steeled myself. I calmly explained to her how serious the situation was. I showed her the evidence I had, the original raw files, the editing history, even old social media posts where I'd shared some of the images. Mia, I said, trying to keep my voice steady, I love you, but what you did is not okay. It's not just morally wrong, it's illegal. You have two choices, either you come clean to Vista Voyage and resign, or I'll have to report this myself. Mia's reaction was not what I expected. She broke down crying, mascara streaking down her cheeks. Between sobs, she confessed that she'd been struggling with depression for months. She felt like a failure, stuck in a job she hated, watching her younger brother gain recognition for his passion while she felt unfulfilled. I saw your portfolio, she hiccuped, and I just. I wanted to feel that passion, that success. I thought I could fake it till I made it, you know? I never meant for it to go this far. While I sympathized with her struggles, I stood firm. I told her that her mental health didn't justify stealing my work and potentially ruining both our reputations. I reiterated my ultimatum, 48 hours to resign and come clean, or I would take action myself. Mia left the coffee shop still in tears, promising to make things right. I felt horrible, but also relieved that I had finally stood up for myself and my work. The next day, all hell broke loose. Our parents called, and it was immediately clear that Mia had told them everything, but not quite accurately. According to them, I had initially agreed to let her use my photos to help her get started, but changed my mind after she got the job. Now I was threatening to ruin her career out of jealousy. How could you do this to your sister? Mom yelled over the phone. She's finally found something she's good at, and you want to take that away from her? I thought we raised you better than this. Dad was quieter but no less disappointed. Son, in this family, we support each other. If you go through with this, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. I tried to explain my side of the story, but they weren't listening. In their eyes, Mia was the victim, and I was the villain threatening to destroy her one chance at happiness. The family divide didn't stop there. Our younger brother, Jake, 25M, called me later that day. Unlike our parents, he actually listened to my side of the story. Bro, that's messed up, he said after I explained everything. I love Mia, but she can't just take your work like that. I've got your back if you need me. Jake's support meant the world to me, but it was a small comfort in the face of the family storm I'd unleashed. Aunts, uncles, and cousins started calling and messaging, 
most of them berating me for being selfish and cruel. A few suggested I should be willing to sacrifice a few photos for my sister's well-being. Through all of this, I stood my ground, but the pressure was intense. I couldn't help but doubt myself. Was I overreacting? Should I have handled this differently? As Mia's deadline approached, my anxiety skyrocketed. I barely slept, jumping every time my phone buzzed, hoping it was Mia telling me she'd come clean. But as the hours ticked by, that hope faded. The deadline is tomorrow, and I'm a nervous wreck. I never wanted to cause a family rift, but I also can't let my work, my passion, my livelihood, be stolen. I'm trying to prepare myself for what I might have to do, but the thought of being the one to potentially ruin my sister's career and our relationship is agonizing. I'll update again when I know more. Thank you all again for your support through this nightmare. Update 2, it's been a tumultuous few days since my last update. The deadline I gave Mia came and went, and she didn't resign or come clean to her employers. The night of the deadline, I sat up until midnight, my finger hovering over the send button on an email to Vista Voyage's HR department. With each passing minute, I hoped Mia would call or text, telling me she'd done the right thing. But midnight came and went in silence. The next morning, with a heavy heart, I sent the email. I explained the situation to Vista Voyage's HR department, providing them with evidence of my ownership of the photos, including original files with metadata, and earlier publications of the images on my professional website and social media accounts. The waiting game that followed was excruciating. I jumped every time my phone buzzed, alternating between hoping it was Vista Voyage responding and dreading that it might be another angry family member. Two days later, I received a response from Vista Voyage. They thanked me for bringing the matter to their attention and assured me they were taking it seriously. They had launched an internal investigation and would get back to me with their findings. True to their word, they contacted me again 48 hours later. They confirmed that Mia had indeed used my photos without permission and had misrepresented them as her own work during the hiring process. They assured me they would handle the situation appropriately and asked if I wanted to pursue legal action. I told them I didn't, as long as my work was properly credited or removed. Later that day, Mia called. I braced myself for more anger and accusations, but instead, I heard something I hadn't heard from my sister in years, genuine remorse. Through sobs, Mia told me she'd been fired from Vista Voyage. They were considering legal action for fraud, but might refrain if she agreed to never apply to their company again. Her voice shaking, she said, You were right, Liam. I messed up so bad. I was so desperate to prove myself that I lost sight of everything else. I'm so, so sorry. As angry as I had been, hearing my sister so broken was painful. I told her I forgave her but that it would take time to rebuild trust between us. She understood and said she was going to seek therapy to work through her issues. The family fallout has been severe. Our parents are barely speaking to me, convinced that I've destroyed Mia's life out of spite or jealousy. They've even threatened to cut me out of their will if I don't make things right, though I'm not sure what that means to them at this point. Jake is still firmly in my corner, bless him. He's been run ragged trying to mediate between all of us, explaining my side to our parents and extended family. They'll come around, he assured me during one late night phone call. Just give them time to process everything. On a brighter note, an unexpected opportunity has arisen from this mess. Vista Voyage reached out to me again, impressed with my work. They offered me a freelance contract to provide photos for their social media campaigns, ironically, the very job they'd hired me for. It's a great opportunity, but I'm hesitant to accept given the circumstances. I'm torn between seizing this chance to advance my career and worrying about how it might further damage my family relationships. For now, I'm standing by my decision to report the theft of my work, but the family tension is taking its toll. I've decided to take a step back from family gatherings for a while to let things cool down. I'm focusing on my work, losing myself in editing sessions and planning my next photography trip, a solo journey to Iceland that I've been dreaming about for years. I'm not sure what the future holds for my family relationships or my career. I hope that with time, my parents will understand why I did what I did. I hope Mia gets the help she needs and finds her own path. Mostly, I hope that someday we can look back on this as a difficult but important learning experience for all of us. I'll update if there are any significant developments. Thank you all for your continued support and advice through this difficult time. Your words have been a lifeline in some of my darkest moments. Update 3, it's been about a month since my last update, and I wanted to share some developments with you all. Your support has been invaluable throughout this ordeal, and I feel like I owe you this follow-up. First, after much deliberation, I decided to accept the freelance contract with Vista Voyage. It felt right to turn this negative situation into a positive opportunity for my career. The work has been challenging but rewarding. I've had the chance to shoot in some amazing locations, and seeing my photos on their platform, properly credited this time, has been incredibly fulfilling. As for the family situation, things are slowly improving, albeit in unexpected ways. About two weeks ago, I received a surprise visit from my parents. I was nervous when I saw them at my door, half expecting another confrontation. Instead, they came to apologize. It turns out that Mia, facing the reality of her actions and the consequences, finally broke down and told them the whole truth. 
she admitted to stealing my photos and lying about it, even showing them the original conversation where she asked to see my portfolio. My parents were shocked and deeply apologetic for not believing me initially. Dad, always a man of few words, actually had tears in his eyes as he said, we failed you, son. We should have listened. Mom was more vocal, admitting that they had always favored Mia and tended to overlook her faults, which had ultimately enabled her behavior. We had a long, difficult conversation that day. Years of pent-up feelings came to the surface, my frustration at feeling less valued, their concerns about my career choice, the pressure Mia felt to succeed. It was painful, but it felt like a turning point in our relationship. They asked to see my home studio and listened with genuine interest as I explained my work process. For the first time in years, I felt truly seen by them. Mia and I have had limited contact, but she sent me a long email last week. She started seeing a therapist to work on her issues and has enrolled in a photography course at a local community college. She apologized again for her actions and said she wants to earn her success honestly this time. She even asked if I'd be willing to look at her work once she's developed her skills. While I appreciate her efforts, I've told her I need time and space before we can work on rebuilding our relationship. Jake has been a rock through all of this. He's been mediating family discussions and helping everyone process their emotions. Last weekend, he organized a small family dinner, just the four of us siblings. It was awkward at first, but as we reminisced about childhood memories and shared our current struggles, it felt like a step towards healing. On the professional front, my contract with Vista Voyage has opened up new opportunities. I've been approached by other travel companies and magazines interested in my work. I'm even considering leading some photography workshops in the future. This experience has been a harsh lesson for everyone involved, but I feel like we're all growing from it. I'm cautiously optimistic about the future of our family relationships, even though I know it will take time to fully heal. I want to thank this community once again for all your advice and support. It's been a challenging journey, but I feel I've come out stronger, both personally and professionally. I'm looking forward to moving on and focusing on my photography career, knowing that my work is truly my own. There's still a long road ahead, especially in rebuilding trust with Mia, but for the first time in weeks, I feel hopeful about the future. I'm planning a family photography session next month, a chance for us to create new memories together, with everyone on the same side of the camera for once.